if a higher protein diet is so good for us, which it is, it's good for our muscle tissue and our metabolism, why is it that some people deal with this constipation? Specifically for carnivore diet, when you're eating a lot of protein, basically whatever you eat, your microbiome is eating. Mm. And so when the microbiome digests protein, it actually makes the, the colon very alkaline. And people think alkaline means good, acidic means bad, but this is not the case. <laughs> There's specific parts of your body that are supposed to have specific pHs. Like the blood has a pretty tight pH range around neutral. The colon is supposed to be around six and a half. It's like slightly acidic. Yeah. And that actually facilitates the growth of these beneficial microbes like bifido and acromantia. When the pH starts to go up, it basically increases the growth of other groups of bacteria called facultative anaerobes that are really good at digesting protein. And what ends up happening is that actually can foment inflammation in the colon because this higher pH environment isn't producing the butyrate. It increases gut permeability. It increases translocation of lipopolysaccharide, which is a bacterial endotoxin. Ultimately, it can lead to issues with like obesity and weight loss resistance over time. And so yes. if we're eating a lot of protein, like a high protein diet is important in a lot of ways, but if it's not balanced by the right amount of plant foods, then we're going to get these diminishing returns on the microbiome and the gut over time.